Welcome. Let's talk about a few of the automatic mixers that are built into the QSYS Designer software. Specifically, the Gain Sharing Automatic Mixer and the Gated Automatic Mixer. Now, both of these mixers adjust their output gain to your desired level by varying the attenuation of their inputs. Now, this can be useful in a lot of situations when you may have multiple people speaking using different microphones, and it's a lot easier than having someone manually adjusting those mic levels. Because this is voice activated, it ensures unity gain at all times. So let's set up a system. We're going to click on the schematic library, go under audio components, mixers, and drag a gain sharing automatic mixer into our schematic. Now since we don't have anyone actually talking into microphones, we're going to duplicate that effect by using some pink noise generators to represent human voices. So you can grab those from audio components, test and measurement, pink noise. And I'm going to make four copies of these to represent four people that we'll be using in this design. Now if you hit the space bar, you can rename them. So I'm going to give each one of them a name so that I can remember them a little bit easier down the line when we are showing you how this works. Those are some good random names right there. And of course, if you want to, like any component, you can change the colors of these. That might help you remember later on which one you're affecting. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is take a look at the gain sharing automatic mixer component. Now over here in its properties panel, we'll set the channels field to four, because that's how many microphones we're using today. You can see now there are only going to be four input pins on the mixer. We're going to wire our four speakers to these input pins. John will be in input pin one, Paul is input pin two, George is input three, Ringo is input four. Now you may notice there are actually five output pins. It's because each input has a direct line out and the last output is the mixed line. That's the one that we're going to be wanting to use. Now let's take a look at the functions on this mixer over here in the properties panel. Like any component, you can change the color by using this fill option. And we've already adjusted the channel fields to change the number of inputs. We can also choose which outputs are available. Let's change ours to mix only since that's the output that we want to use. Next is the side chain filter. This will open or close another window in your mixer's control panel that lets you choose what bandwidth and frequency you're looking for in order to open the gate on someone's mic. We'll set it to yes, just so that we can take a look at that later. And lastly, there's detector time. This sounds like Sherlock Holmes' battle cry. What this does is it looks for momentary non-vocal spikes in the signal that might accidentally open the gate when it shouldn't. This could be a random digital blip or maybe a person coughing. <clears throat> That might otherwise make the mixer think that someone's talking and open the gate. Well, the detector time lets you fine tune how long a noise has to be in order for it to count. You can select 10 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, you can adjust it however you like, or select use control. That will give you another knob in the setup section of your control panel that lets you pick it manually. So let's see this mixer in action. We're going to load our design to the core. You can go to file, save to core and run, or you could use F5, that's your keyboard shortcut. Now, once we get there, we are going to double click on each of our four presenters so that we have access to their levels and maybe we can mute them as well. We're going to give them a variety of volumes. Let's say that Paul speaks at about negative 10 dB, George speaks at about negative 15 dB, John's, let's put him at negative 20 dB, and Ringo's really loud. He will put him all the way up to up to positive 0.1 dB. All right, why don't we put a pause right here and you can go on to the next part whenever you're ready.